Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another gardening video. So today we are at mom's house. We just planted all our milk jugs with foxgloves and poppies this morning for fall. And before we put up her Christmas tree, we are going to try to squeeze in a little last minute fall slash winter planting. So here in the south in our zone 8B, things like pansies can really stay blooming almost the entire winter. Um, and mom has already planted quite a few pansies, ornamental cabbages, mums, things of that nature. But she got a few extra uh, mums, pansies, mandina, and dianthus, as, as well as this sweet little dwarf Alberta spruce tree. A couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now, and for some reason, with all of her work, they just have not gotten in the ground. So we're gonna try to power through planting as much of this today as possible because it is the first week in December and anything we don't get in the ground is just not gonna get planted until next year. So we're gonna go ahead, plant everything, and then we'll show you where it ends up. y'all hear the church bells? They're playing Christmas music.
don't you think? I can't hear you. What? We need to go back inside. Okay. Huh? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's raining in here. for a rain break. All right, y'all, we took two breaks for rain. Mom is bleeding, I'm covered in dirt, but we got 90% of it planted, and now it's about to turn dark, so we're gonna give you a quick run through. Yep. Okay. Once that car passes, and then we're gonna go inside and get cleaned up, because we still have a Christmas tree to put up in the house. Yes. Starting under the Vitex, we have a mum. This is a yellow mum, so mom has one, two, three mums here. And they were just gonna be for the front half, but this half just ends up being weeds. So she wanted to fill it in, ring the tree. We'll see how that works. Mums come back and bloom continuously in our zone. So they will actually bloom all summer. And then we have 
this little group of pansies. So anywhere there was pansies, mom mainly had groups of three. We added two to three pansies to each group to make them bigger groups. Um, mom has never planted pansies as like a winter ground cover kind of plant. She's planted Not lots here. of pansies in North Carolina, in North Carolina, in mm -hmm. Colorado, in containers or even in the ground. But mine did so well last year, she wanted to plant some this year. Yeah. Um, but what I learned last year is that unlike summer annuals that do get really, really big and grow together, pansies only grow together a little bit. So they need to be planted closer. Yeah. So anywhere there was a couple pansies, we just added a couple more for a little bit more color. Here. Basically all around. And, and then we finished with mums. So... Do, 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 do. You saw me over here. We planted this big purple mum in between this rose and these iris, which is good because roses are summer, iris are spring, mum is fall, and then she plants a lot of uh, foxgloves back in here. So that'll be a pretty combination. I'd like to point out that the sweet alyssum, these are the proven winners, Snow Princess, are still going strong, killing it. Yes. Unlike, well, her, the ones we, I grew for seed, from seed, are still growing and blooming here, but not, not at your house. Not in my house. Everything's dead in my house. We're 10 months apart. Planted. You can see the difference in the stuff from the seed versus the proven winners. And then mom actually spent a lot of time cutting back all the lantana. Oh, yeah. It has been just Take taking over the whole garden. She's pulling them all out. You can see them over here. And we're going to go plant them in the backyard along the fence as kind of like an extra layer of barrier for the dogs who like to escape the fence. They will now have to fight through the lantana. And another pretty orange and yellow mum here. Everything's on the struggle bus after being on the porch for a month, but it will either live or die. This is Survivor Hunger Games Plant Edition. Then we have more little pansies, and the dwarf Alberta spruce. Now, these are actual trees. You can get them for planters. You can get them for inside. You can put them on your porch. But they are real live trees, and they get to be 10 to 15 feet tall. Six. Six? Six? To eight. I thought the tag said 10. Mm -hmm. Six to eight, Mom says. I think it depends a little on your zone, but they grow super slow. Very, very like. Slow an inch or two a year. Mom has grown these before in Colorado um, and I've done a bit of research on planting them in pots because I planted one in a pot at my house. Um, and from what I read of the their growth habits is that they literally will push an inch or two of growth in the, uh, what comes after winter, spring? spring. In the spring. <laughs> And then they will not grow pretty much the rest of the year. So you'll get all your growth at once and then nothing the rest of the year. So you want to grow it in a place where you can move it around if it's small or where it can eventually get big. It's not going to get big right away. I am going to do a whole showcase video on those with the one I planted at my house. But you get a sneak peek since mom wanted. Mom saw mine and had to have one. So hopefully he will be much happier in that pot than the petunias. I had some in Colorado that were like three feet tall. Yeah. And they maybe grew in a foot. Yeah, not even six inches in in like from 2002 to 2011. Yeah. So nine years. There you uh, go. Maybe six inches. It, they're very slow growers. Yeah. From here, we are almost done. Thank goodness, because it is getting dark. We planted one purple mum here and one across the way. And then the last mum, follow my mum to the mum, is up by the street. You can see these mums are still looking nice. Not perfect, but nice. Ta-da! This one's purple with yellow center, so it will be different from these more magenta-y ones. Woo! You guys tried to fall. That wasn't very nice. But it is literally getting dark. We're filthy. Mom's still bleeding. So we're going to go inside and clean up, eat something, put up a Christmas tree, and uh, be done out here. There are still the Dianthus and the Nandina to plant, but Mom wants to put those in the backyard. So she'll probably do them a different day. 
Thanks for hanging out with us.